Have you ever considered that the air you're breathing is full of invisible time capsules? Tiny microscopic grains that hold the secrets to ancient landscapes, long-lost climates and even criminal investigations. These aren't science fiction, they're pollen and spores, and the person who reads their stories is a palynologist. So what exactly is a palynologist? The name comes from a Greek word meaning sprinkled, which is a perfect description for how pollen and spores are scattered across the earth by wind and water. A palynologist is a scientist, a detective of the natural world who studies these microscopic particles to piece together the past. It's a field that goes far beyond just looking at pretty patterns under a microscope. The fieldwork is crucial, of course. It involves carefully collecting samples from places where pollen is well preserved, like the deep layers of a peat bog, sediment at the bottom of a lake or soil from an archaeological dig. Back in the laboratory, the real magic begins. The pollen and spores, which can be thousands or even millions of years old, have to be painstakingly extracted from the soil or sediment samples. Once isolated, the palynologist spends hours at the microscope, identifying the different types of pollen and counting them. Each plant has a unique pollen signature, a specific shape and structure. By identifying which plants were present and in what quantities, they can build a picture of what the environment was like at a specific point in time. Palynology has a surprisingly modern and crucial role in forensic science. The UK is actually a world leader in using pollen as evidence in criminal cases. Because different areas have a unique mix of plant life, they also have a unique pollen fingerprint. If pollen found on a suspect's clothing matches the specific pollen fingerprint of a crime scene, it provides a powerful link between the two. It's a silent witness that can place a person in a location, often with remarkable precision. To become a palynologist in the UK, you need a deep passion for science and a lot of patience. The journey typically starts with a university degree in a subject like geology, biology, earth sciences or geography. Because it's such a specialised field, most roles require further postgraduate study, like a master's degree or a PhD, where you can really hone your skills in identifying these microscopic storytellers. So, a palynologist is part archaeologist, part climate scientist and part forensic investigator. They work in a hidden world, using the tiniest of clues to answer some of our biggest questions about the past, the planet, and even human behaviour. Thanks for watching Career Chronicles UK. See you in the next video!